Hey, good morning, Waypoint. Happy Monday, Coach Barb coming at you live from my living room. It's a beautiful day and we're gonna have a great workout. I hope everyone had a good weekend and um, yeah, got to get outside a little bit yesterday, I hope. It was a unexpectedly lovely day. So I'm um, excited to work out with you guys as always. And here we are. So let's talk about what you're gonna need for today. You will need a set of dumbbells and you will need, good morning, Danielle, and you will need um, a kettlebell if you want. Um, hi, Don. So uh, there's a lot of options for today. So at a minimum, you will need a pair of dumbbells. Um, if you have a kettlebell and you want to rock the kettlebell this morning, totally works. If you want to go with a dumbbell, those are totally viable options as well. So let's talk about the workout. So the workout today, ooh, ah is we have two rounds for the warm-up. We're gonna do a minute of cardio. This is probably gonna sound, look pretty weird, but I'm gonna hold up two of these because I'm filming on multiple cameras here. Woo, exciting. So it's, uh, we're gonna do one minute of cardio. Just get your body moving. If you have a rower, you can run, you can bike, you can jump rope. I'm gonna go with my good old standby of uh, jumping jacks. You guys know how I love my jumping jacks. We're gonna do single leg bridge ups, five and five on each leg, and then either a kettlebell deadlift if you have a heavier kettlebell, or you can do a double dumbbell deadlift. Hi, Jenny, hi, Tim. And so it kind of depends on what you wanna do, and then single arm Russian swings, um, again, depending on how fantastic you're feeling, if you wanna go with your kettlebell and do that, or you can use a dumbbell, I'll show you all those things. The workout today is an EMOM for 15 minutes. So we're gonna do um, minute one, one, four, eight, well, you know, whatever, you guys can do the math. <laughs> um, basically we're gonna do five rounds essentially of each of these movements. So minute one is gonna be 45 seconds of cardio, whatever that's gonna be for you guys today is totally fine. You can vary it, you can, you know, since there are essentially you're gonna do it five times, you can change what you wanna do. You can do burpees one round, you can do mountain climbers one round, you can do, you know, jumping jacks, whatever you wanna do. If you have a rope, that's fine, cool. Or you can row or bike if you have either of those. Um, then minutes two are gonna be eight thrusters followed by eight push-ups. And minute three is 16 Russian swings, or you can do a 45 second farmer's carry. Again, depending on what kind of material, you know, what kind of equipment you have. If you don't have a, a good, you know, option for a kettlebell swing, you can totally do a walking farmer's carry. Essentially, you want all of these to take you no longer than 45 seconds. So that might mean that you end up scaling your um, your rep count, and that's fine. That might mean you do six thrusters and six push-ups. I want I want those to match ideally. Um, so try to do all eight in the first round, and then adjust if you need to. Um, same with the Russian swings. If you're like, yeah, I can only do 12 or 15, you know, 13, whatever, that's fine in that 45 seconds. So the way it'll work, I'll say, ready, steady, go. We do our 45 seconds of cardio, and then I'll call out when you need to be done to make sure that everybody takes that like 15 to 20 seconds of break uh, in between. So we're gonna do those for 15 minutes, and then we have a spectacular finisher coming at us. Uh, three sets of these weighted side bends, um, 30 hollow rocks, yes, I realize that's a big number. So um, I'll show you some modifications for that. Um, if you can use, uh, we can bend our knees, that kind of thing. So there's options. And then the 15 of the side plank leg raises. If the side plank is a challenge in itself, that's totally cool. We'll just stick with that for like 20 seconds and um, call it good. So we shall see. So with that is the workout. And I'm excited to work out with all of you guys. So let's, um, Get ready. So find some floor space, figure out what you want to do for your cardio, um, for this warm up at least. Um, let me see if there's anything. Okay, let me go over the movements real quick just to uh, make sure we are all on the same page with the different movements that we're gonna do, particularly in the warm up. So the single leg bridge ups. So we're laying down and we've done these, we did these last week I think, and then we have the one leg in the air and we do the single leg bridge. Okay, so that's the single leg. The kettlebell or double dumbbell deadlift. If you have two, if you're going with the de um, dumbbells, you go from the outsides. So we're here and we're standing. Or you can do, if you have the single with the kettlebell, you can go from the middle and just stand up. Obviously I didn't demo it with the kettlebell. Um, and then the single Russian swing, we're here. 
with our weight. If you can do that with your kettlebell, more power to you. That's not me today, and that's all right. Oh. And then, so yeah, so for the workout, for the thrusters, I'm just gonna go over all the movements in one fell swoop. Then we just get it done. So we're here, we rack, nice front rack, squat, and press. Okay, those are our thrusters. So we're gonna do eight of those, then we'll drop our weights, and then we'll do our eight push-ups. The faster you move, the more rest you'll get. So there's that. <laughs> um, and then the farmer's carry, if you're going that route, depending, we just have nice, engage your shoulders, engage your lats, brings your shoulders back. You want to have active shoulders. You don't want to be like this, okay? Nice tall chest. And we're walking up for 45 seconds, if that's what you're doing for your farmer's carry. Or just standard kettlebell swings if you have a kettlebell. Engine at the hip. And bring it up. So those are our movements. And then yeah, for the cardio, pick your poison. It's up to you, free choice. All right, let's get in it. So we're gonna do one minute of cardio, five and five of those single leg bridge ups, eight of the deadlifts, and eight and eight of the single arm swings. So let me get our timer going. And we're just gonna do this. All right, let's go, some sort of cardio, one minute. You guys know me and my love of jumping jacks. Just keep moving your body, getting it nice and warm. Doesn't have to be fast, we're just getting warm. We're 30 seconds in, if you want to switch your cardio, that's cool. You do high knees, you do butt kickers, you just run really fast in place. I don't know, whatever. Whatever you want to do. 15 more seconds. Woo! I went on a run yesterday, my legs are sore. <laughs> All right, switch. We're gonna do those single leg glute bridges. Five and five, right? I think that sounds right. <laughs> sure, five and five. Really drive that heel up to the ceiling. go. And then we'll do those deadlifts. Again, you can use your dumbbells or you can use a kettlebell, whatever. I have a kettlebell and it's heavier than my dumbbell, so that's what I'm going to use. Eight of these. Just getting those legs fired up. And then you'll move into eight of the single arm swing. I wonder if I can. I can. It's not pleasant though. Eight and eight. Woo! with that, then we're going to do another cycle. All right, let's get back to our cardio. Let's go. It's getting those muscles woke, woken up. I'm gonna do butt kickers now. 
Let's see if we can stretch out these. <laughs> stretch out a little bit. Ten more seconds. All right. Let's get back to that five and five single leg bridge up. Nice. Squeezing that booty up at the top. Switch. Alright. We've got those dumbbell deadlifts. I'll switch it up this round. Eight of these. Eight made of those Russian swings. And then we'll get into the workout. like the present. So 15 minutes, okay? So think about that as you're picking your weights. Basically doing each movement five times through. So starting with about 45 seconds of cardio, again, make your choice. You can rotate it throughout, I don't care. Um, I probably will. Eight thrusters, eight push-ups, and then 16 of the Russian swings or 45 second farmer's carry. Again, it's really going to depend on what you have to work with. So try to do the maximum amount of reps or the, or the required number of reps this round to see how that goes and then scale the next round accordingly. I hope that makes sense. So let me get a timer going for 15 minutes. Stop. All right. All right. All right, everybody ready? We're going to get it into our 15 seconds of cardio, or 15 seconds of cardio, wouldn't that be funny? 45 seconds of cardio, and go. I'll holler when it's time to switch. And when we do, we're going to go into those, we'll have a 15 second break, kind of basically enough time to pick up your weights and get into those eight thrusters and eight push-ups. more seconds. All right, rest. Get ready to pick up your weights. I'll let you know when to go. Four, three, two, one, and eight thrusters, okay? And then eight push ups. Got 10 more seconds if you're still working, okay?
and rest if you haven't already. Get ready for those Russian swings, for those farmer carry. 16 of the swings, four, three, two, one, and go. more seconds. And we'll start again. One down. Good job, guys. Okay, go ahead and rest if you haven't stopped yet. We'll start back with our cardio in 10 seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one, and go. Your butt kickers this time. Go ahead and change it up if you want. It's your workout. You make it what you want. Just keep moving. Fifteen more seconds, okay? We got this. And rest. So we'll go in about twelve seconds for those thrusters and push-ups. If you didn't finish last time, maybe take a down or rep for each each movement. Four, three, two, one, and go. Keep working if you're not done. You're doing great. And rest. We'll move back into those swings in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds if you're still working. You're doing great. And rest. We're going in with our third round of cardio in ten seconds, okay? You guys are doing awesome. Woo! Three, two, one, and go. It's day five for me, so I'm taking it kind of easy. <laughs> That's why I'm not doing harder movements. But if this is day one for you, if you took the weekend off or yesterday off, I encourage you to level up a little bit, a little harder, pick a harder movement like burpees, up downs, mountain climbers. Really get it moving. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, 
and rest. Woo. But yeah, you're going to get out of the workout what you put into the workout. So whatever that means for you today and how you're feeling, go with that. All right. Two, one. Let's get back to those thrusters. Almost there. All right, go ahead and rest. If you're not done, go ahead and rest. You got 10 seconds. Getting back into those Russian swings or those farmers carry, okay? You guys are doing great. Three, two, one, and go. 16 of these. Or if you're scaling, that's okay too. In terms of your rep count. I look like I'm staring at the floor, it's because my clock's down there. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and rest. Ten seconds, we're getting back to our cardio. Four, three, two, one. I seem to have shamed myself <laughs> into doing more. about you, but I'm my own biggest competitor. And rest. Woo! Lost my screen. Five seconds and we're getting into those thrusters. Woo! And go. Keep, if you're still working, you've got 10 seconds. Whew. And rest, okay? All right. Here for those Russian swings. Five seconds. We're doing it again. Two, one, and go. Keep moving, you're still going. All right, go ahead and rest. Last round. Go 
going in 10 seconds. Getting back into that cardio. Three, two, one, let's go. Last round, you guys. If you do have anything left in your tank, now's the chance to get it out, okay? I don't want you leaving this workout going, yeah, that was okay. I don't want you to be the level of sweaty tired that you need to be. There's nothing worse than being done and being like, oh man, I did not give that everything I had. So I want you to get everything you got, whatever that is today. Ten more seconds. All right, rest. <coughs> 10 seconds, we're getting back to those thrusters, those push-ups. Seven, six, five, four, ooh, three. Oh, just Kevin, and go. Eight and eight. We're doing this game. We got it. It's the last round. Almost there. And rest. Last. Big movement before we get into the finisher. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Finish it out. Last 30 seconds. If you're done, get a drink. Ten seconds left. Finish out your rep count if you're not done. Get it finished. Five, four, three, two, one, and there we go. That's it, all right. So that is the primary portion of our workout. Now we have our finisher. So you take a breath, you drink water, and I'm gonna walk through the movements so we can all be on the same page. So three rounds, sets, whatever you wanna call them. So we're doing 15 weighted side bends on each side. Right like that. What I really want you to focus on here is the contraction of your sides. If you start to round forward, really focus on bringing yourself back up as you go. So 15 and then 15. Then we're doing those hollow rocks. So admittedly, mine aren't like the most spectacular hollow rocks you'll ever see, and that's okay. So we're here and we're rocking. We're doing 30 of those, which I recognize is a lot. So if you wanna be here, with your knees in to provide a little less strain. Like I find that it strains my hips after a while. I have percussional hip problems. So um, you can bring your knees in for that. That's a good modification. And then our side plank with a leg raise. Ooh, ah. So we're on our sides. We're in that raise. And then we're here. If this is like, whoa, no way. Just hold it for like 20, 30 seconds on each side. Okay, depending on where you're at. You can also make the movement really small. It doesn't have to be like, you don't have to be like, whoa, I'm all the way up here. No, that's okay. Like, baby raises, it's probably what I'll do. So, um, 
I'm gonna end this session um, because I do really want you to do this at your own time. I don't want you to feel like you're having to keep up with me or anything like that. So now that you have a good baseline of understanding what those movements are, I'm gonna hit end, but I want you to keep working, okay? And message me when you're done. Um, so we can all work on the pace that we need to work at. So, um, cause this is a fairly decent chunk of work and I wanna make sure you do it right. So again, it's three sets, okay? 15 of those weighted side bends on each side, okay? Keeping those shoulders nice and tight. We're not running forward. 30 of those hollow rocks, uh, bend your knees if that helps relieve the pressure a little bit for you. Um, it makes it slightly more manageable because they are 30 and that's a lot. Um, and then we have 15 of each side of those side plank. If you can do the leg raise, awesome. If you can't, that's okay, just hold that side plank. Really thinking about keeping that hip nice and tall uh, that you're not sinking into the ground. So I'm proud of you guys. Thanks for working out with me this morning. Um, so I'm gonna end the video and I'm gonna do the finisher here on my own and I want you guys to keep working and do the finisher on your own. And um, have a great day and I will see you guys again soon.